Okay, folks, so we're about an hour from the end of the show, or thereabouts. So, um, if you want to watch some Nautica with the new update that just came out today, then um, we'll do a vote for that. Otherwise, the other option is City Skylines as planned. Right, okay, driver, you're driving a loaded ballast train to Ruslin and returning with a train of empty ballast wagons. First, you need to drive to the water tower to fill up with tender. Sounds really off putting with the diesels in the back, and I'm thinking, my uh, AF doesn't sound like an AF. <laughs> Right, so we're going to go over to the water tower first. So, um, yeah, Francois is going to post a vote. Um, if you want to see the new Subnautica update, we, we can do that. Um, and uh, if you want to see Skylines, we could do that. Let me know. I'll go with the majority. So in case you weren't aware, the big update for um, Subnautica came out today that I've been uh, looking for. Uh, which adds the new exosuit um, and uh, changes a bunch of other uh, other aspects of the game as well. So, Alas, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Right, what are we doing now? Come back there and couple to those. And then we couple to those, and then we head off. Okie doke. I'm pouring all the water into the coal, GG me. Took a screenshot with the biolog up. Excellent. Good. Reverse and couple up the four ballast wagons. Junctions are already set, so we're good to go and get the uh, to reverse up. The only problem with you waving at me, um, Barry Harrison, is that you're about 15-20 seconds behind, so by the time you tell me to stop, I'll have turned these wagons into matchsticks. As usual. Cheers, Stuff Nuggets! Alright, shunt these wagons and couples with the rest of the train in Fairfield Quarry Loop, so we need to go forward again. Because uh, that's those over there. Excellent. <laughs> so the vote for what to do next is currently standing at 50 50. <laughs>
Right, we're all clear to come back. Sonic fan, what's your favourite route then? See you later, Dan Dies. The on the car says that Twitch are having some problems and on our streamers are disappearing. So uh, let me know uh, if you have, if you have any problems accessing the stream. Right, put on your goods trains headlamps H, which I've done. Now drive by Avondale Goods and Oakhurst down Main to Rosling Goods up. As you leave the quarry, make a request to pass signal at danger. That's there. Oh, that's there. Okay, down the long way round. This is the route map, by the way, folks. So Avondale Goods is that one, so we're going to come down here, round up, round. So we're going to come all the way down around there. Speed limit is 20 until we exit the yard. the yard. Still at 20 until the rear of the train passes the signal. Alright, I think we're going to do we're going to stick with skylines since that was what was originally planned since it's a 50-50 vote uh, and I will try and get um, Subnautica done um, as soon as possible. Well, I've seen all of seven Hey Joe's routes. What do I think, Francois? Oh, I think they're all actually good, very good examples. They really are. They're, they're well thought out. They don't require much in the way of DLC. underneath the dampers there from the fire. See you in a bit, take some respect to me. Mm. 
I shall definitely stream it because I really want to have a look at it. I've been looking forward to the exosuit, or the prawn as it's now called, um, for uh, for a long time. It's uh, so I'm, I'm hyped to look at some Nautica and uh, and have a good look at it. I won't play it without streaming it though. I will promise you that. <laughs> Uh, we need a background image. How fast are we going? 45, we're doing good. Cab image. Match. That one. Go. Speed limit's dropping to 40. Shut the firebox door. That's good for 40 and a tunnel. I'm really curious to see whether or not the lights do their magic as we go into this tunnel. What kind of a tunnel is it? Is it a tunnel that works? Apparently not. Fictional route, run at gaming, fictional route. So you get the 3 2 1 for your scenarios. The 3 2 1 be good, you will need to use a little bit of license because the 3 2 1 pack is First Capital Connect and it would need to be um, First um, Great Eastern or um, a Rebe uh, Abelio. Arabellio, I was going to say. I don't know what Arabellio is. Getting some of that wet stuff in the tank. Why is the map not working? Because this route doesn't exist in the real world, so we're over the uh, over the over an ocean somewhere. Um, Daniel Arkansas engine. Have I um, Daniel Arkansas engine? Um, yes, I have. Um, I I've played pretty much all the train simulators at one time or another. Map please there Ruben, there you go, this is the map. We're currently coming into here. Started up there. And we're gonna go all the way round here to Roslyn siding. Oh and then we're going back up to Fairfield Quarry up here. It did say it was an out and back, so can't really fault it.
Mimi Boy. Um, oh, should you get the DCG3 Tomfew Scenarios or the AP one? Well, if you want me to play it, then I can't. I haven't got the AP one. The AP one is. Uh, I guess some people tell me uh, that they prefer it. Um, and the one on Steam is only in First Capital Connect livery, whereas I think you'll get more appropriate livery in the AP pack. Detective Inspector Lee, you need the hand with the decision. Do you buy five items you want plus the one you really want, or the one item you really want? So the question is, do you buy lots of toys or just the one toy that you desperately want? <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. Nice little sort of zones around the around the track here to look at. How are we doing? Just got the signals ahead. Just remember, Nimmy boy, I don't use reskins either. So if you. Uh, if you uh, use a reskin, then that won't work with me either. Night Hectic T. Yes, I had the AP143 sounds because I was doing some work for somebody and they wanted the rail driver stuff done. Not because I actually have it um, to show on the stream. It just had to, I didn't realise it, it, it would mess up the... Uh, or affect, sorry, my uh, uh, installation of the 143. Uh, we're doing cities uh, after this. Uh, the vote was 50 50. Next one followed Baptiste. Uh, Nimby Boy, if you want the 3 2 1 and you want me to play it, then it would have to be the FCC one, yes. Sonic Fan, um, the rail driver, I can't remember what I paid for it because it was a very long time ago now. I think I've seen them on Amazon for a. Um, Uh, a couple of hundred pounds, something like that, which is quite expensive. Um, they weren't that when they came out; they're about 140. Um, 
the displays, these things, they're called Sciatec Flight Instrument Panels. I get the feeling I should tab this. Yeah, I should tab this. Uh, the gauges, the content of the gauges is cu custom made. The physical hardware you can buy from Amazon. More green lights. Oh no, we've got red light, the green light, oh, there it is. WT! Matt has chosen a scenario that P's it be for good. <laughs> Can I get some uh, GG's for WT please? Thanks very much. I have got another scenario from Jan Chidoba um, that um, someone suggested, I don't know if Jan did, but certainly someone suggested his new one. Um, which is uh, another Berlin Leipzig one, I think it is, with um, lots of good P's it be stuff on it. So um, I'm looking forward to playing that, but it is uh, an 80, minute, 80 minutes of hard driving. Thanks very much, WT. Cheers, Nimmy boy. Yeah, and suggested it himself. Superb. He did comment on. Um, I uploaded the BR143 Part One uh, video up to YouTube, and he commented on because there were two PZB fails in there, uh, and he highlighted this first one I knew what was wrong uh, and he confirmed that I was right and uh, second one I didn't know what was wrong and he's told me what it was and I get that now apparently if you're in PZB uh, U or M um, you need to be doing the 25 kmh when you hit the 500 hertz magnet you don't have the 45 down to 25 that you do on PZB O so I hadn't appreciated I thought they were all 45 down to 25 but they're not they're 40 only the O is the high speed one is 45 to 25 so you live and learn. Yan scenarios are good for teaching you. They teach you kind of the hard way. It's like throwing yourself in the deep end. Uh, I'm not going to play that one tonight, WT, but I am going to play it possibly next week. Breaks and release. Crazy pool. Oh, look at that view. That's awesome. How are we doing? Dr. Anthony, what route is this? This is the Borderlines route, which you can see here. Um, oops. Um, and uh, yeah, it's by Hey Joe. Oakhurst down Main, we are going through, and then Rosalind Goods one is Goods is where we're going to stop.
What happens if I had to drive trains for a whole stream that are fitted with PZB? That would be awesome fun. The problem is finding a, uh, enough good scenarios fitted with PZB that have got PZB. Like, I've got two scenarios of Yans that I still haven't done. Um, winter something or other that I still need to do. So there's those two. So maybe there's uh, something there maybe. These routes have got a sort of a model railway feel to them. Sort of slightly amped up as if the model railway sprang a little bit to life. It's sort of still got that model railway feel because it's lower, um, because it's just sort of small round and round, but if you're actually down in it, it feels real. It's very clever. Yeah, and scenarios are top draw. They absolutely are white meat. They absolutely are. I really enjoy them because they... Um, I know at the end of it, if I've done it right, I've done it right. And if I haven't, then I'll be able to figure out or Yan will tell me what I've done wrong. And that means I learned something. And that's cool. Boggy! Speaking of model railways, what scale? Uh, predominantly double O. Uh, my son has N-Gage, he likes the um, Shinkansens uh, and Eurostars, that sort of thing. Um, that's sitting behind me. Um, what's left of it? I've taken a bit of it apart to run at um, the... I've, I've taken the N-Gage, the, the uh, overhead loop, the um, raised loop, um, apart. And that's now at uh, my mum and dad's place. The next weekend is Model Railway running weekend, which is mostly double O, some HO. Um, got the N-Gage. And hopefully we'll have the the new Pendolino uh, running. The little you know, the engaged Pendolino. I can't remember who's made it, but uh, yeah, well hopefully we'll have that running as well. It should be awesome. Um, that's pretty much. But yeah, my dad, my, my dad and I pretty much mostly double O and H O. He's got a wide selection of stuff. 1.3 miles to Roslyn Goods up. My dad's like me, pretty much, he likes trains. So you'll see on his layout a TGV running next to an ICE 3, running next to a Javelin, running next to an Acela Express. And that's fine. And occasionally an ST70M as well. One mile to go. Horn. Am I excited for the G2? I certainly am. Having I drove it on the um, charity stream, if, uh, if you were around then. If not, check out my YouTube stream. I'm definitely looking forward to coming out, driving it again. What American stop is on the one house mile route, one railway? I can't remember it all now. There's three GP40s. Um, there's... A bunch of steam engines, so things like there's a cab forward, FEF, Big Boy, and one or two others, I think. There's. What else is there? SD70M. Um, John, I'm easily confused, always brings his DDA40X and his Dash 8. Um, God, loads of it. I can't even remember it because a lot of it doesn't run properly because it hasn't been chipped or it needs work to make it run because it was sort of bought second hand. I think one of them is a, a U boat or something like that. Chaka TV! Yes, I am going to look at um, Firm Bus. I gather Thursday it comes out on public beta so. I'm not going to be looking at it on Thursday, because Thursday is busy anyway. Um, but I am going to uh, pick it up and... Uh, I shall add it to the roster. I think that one's worth adding to the roster to at least take a look at it. 30 quid for a 7 hour steam rail tour. I think that's a good deal, Simon. 
very good deal. No, the reason there's no game planned on Thursday is because the stream will be ending a little bit earlier. Um, because um, I'm going to um, Insomnia uh, Games Expo at the NEC uh, on Friday, and I'll be leaving early. So rather than like last time, I didn't have any Thursday stream. I'm going to try and do a train sim stream on Thursday, but I'm not going to push it and stay late. I, I need to get to bed. <laughs> So if any of you are coming to Insomnia to have a look around, I'll be there on um, Friday. Just wondering, I'm not there in any official capacity. I'm just there, you know. Being me, causing trouble. No, a Rubin, the National Exhibition Centre in the UK in Birmingham. <laughs> Sonic fan, what challenge was that? If I should fail, I have to restart the scenario. Nah, that's not fun for the stream. Everyone don't. No one likes to see them started again and again and again, unless someone can write a really short one. Right, stop at Rosling Siding Three, which. We're all hooked up for. Why not do Subnautica instead of TSL? Oh, the heresy, Atten. The heresy! Do I have a favourite Australian locomotive? I don't really know enough of them to know that I've got my favourite out of all of them, but one of the we've got a couple of the NR class um, diesels on the um, on the layout, and uh, I quite like those. I have to say, we've got an Indian Pacific one and a Pacific National one from um, Austrains. In fact, my well, I've got I've got a distant relative that uh, who shares my surname in Australia. Because at some point in the distant past of our family, it split off and went three ways. You can find Peddlestons in Canada, Australia, and um, and the UK. WT. Well, if you go to Insomnia, nobody expects you to go to bed at all. No, go with a name. Cannot go to Insomnia. <laughs> Quite far from Australia for me again. Yeah, it's just a little bit. Thanks very much for the donation there, WT. Can I get some more GGs for WT? Awesome. Thank you. It's an old loco, the 8F, but you know what? It ain't a bad beast, I tell you. Just got the cab view. It has! Oh, rock on! What are the odds of me doing a PZB fitter train and going flawless? Uh, Jan's second part of Heavy Liquids, other than being a little bit, a tiny bit late on a, I think at the end, um, that was flawless. I really enjoyed that and I got it and I nailed it. Um, because I got, I think, 940 score at the end of it. Which, the way Jan sets up the medals, I still only got a bronze, but still! <laughs> Q 
keep backing up till you hear the glass break. Right, uncouple your locomotive. Uncoupled. Now couple up to the train of empty ballast wagons in siding one. Which is those ones over there, I thought it would be. Well, like I said, Mr. P.S., um, when it comes to Australian trains, my knowledge of them is incredibly limited. So, uh, I quite possibly don't know what my favourite train is, but of the ones I know, uh, I like the uh, DNR. forward. Favourite Irish loco? Again, I don't know lots of Irish trains, but the one that always stands out for me is... Um, I can't remember the number of it. It's, um, it's unusual. It's got three windows along the front. One four one class, is that it? Am I thinking of the one four one or something like that? Might be the one four one. I like it kind of for the same reasons I like things like the BR one four three the German one. You know, they're not necessarily beautiful locomotives, but there's just something about them. The 201, I think it is, is also quite nice as well. Slightly more modern express loco. We've got one of those actually. We've got a Murphy Models uh, 201 on the railway. Right, drive to Fairfield Quarry. Favourite German train? I don't know, I kind of like a lot of the German trains to be honest, because they've just got a lot, I think they've got a lot of character, which the UK locomotives are kind of lacking these days, because they're all being replaced by soulless, lifeless plastic shells. Speed limit is apparently 60, and we're crossing over here. I'm going to uh, not do 60 over this.
Right, now we're out. We need to check the signals and see whether we're clear. Yeah, there is no reason for that to be red. What is my favourite British four-wheel train that looks like a bus? Oh, that'd be the LED. Right, I've got permission to pass. Favourite Amtrak loco? Oh, it's either the Acela or the ACS-64. I really like the ACS-64. I spent a lot of time researching it. Uh, yeah, I really grew to like the ACS-64. But then the Acela also appeals as well, just because of reasons of speed. And awesome. This is a 40 minute scenario, this one. Which one do I like best out of the HO routes? I don't know, because I can't actually remember what the other ones look like. I've only driven on each of that once. Um, but I know they've all been good. They're all worth a look. They're all free on Steam Workshop. Can't argue about that. London Peterborough, Newcastle, York. I'll be London Peterborough because it's much newer. 40 limit coming up. We're on our way back up now, up to uh, Fairfield Cross. It's quite a lengthy route, this. Fifty, got a forty limit coming up. another signal controlling me. Favourite broad gauge look, I don't really have, I don't really follow broad gauge all that much. American Steam Loco. It's either going to be the FEF or the big boy. Um, uh, historically, I really like the Hudson J4A, is it? Um, the big sort of silver bullet type one. Which I think 611 is kind of, Norfolk and Western 611 is kind of that class, isn't it? Or something in the, in the same family. Uh, I just think they look, there's something about them that just looks really epic. Moggy, proper question, favourite shunter, a Gronk or a Class 08? <laughs> That's tricky. That's tricky. I think I'm going to go with the Gronk.
back up to 40 in a minute now. Yeah, it's 611 is a J class. So yeah, same same family. Gronk, you say, not the 08. Yeah, I'm, I'm torn, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's 50-50 between the Gronk and the 08. Oh, I see. It's the streamlining and nose is the, is the thing that I like the look of. Favourite station on London to Peterborough? It's difficult. It's near, uh, there's somewhere sort of like Stevenage, somewhere like that, in that general vicinity, it's quite quite a nice area. Sort of in the general area of Stevenage and Welling. It's quite a nice area. I hear good things about it. It's a bit difficult to get to by train, I'm told. But. Fairfield Quarry. Right, what are we doing? Dropping off. Oh, and then we'll run round, go to the shun, go by a quarry loop, and stop at quarry Kiddo. Hey there, Rob Rowe. Welcome, sir. Favourite Munich route? Yeah, I probably agree. Munich Garmisch is probably my favourite of the of the lot. <laughs> White mead. Spatted a red light by two centimetres. Sixty-five minutes, dri minutes driving on Trent Valley. You only had three miles left. Short story, watching the stream and driving a train. <laughs> Grim Reaper LTU, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Stations start with N on the racetrack. Hello. Nappyville? Nappyville? Is that what you mean? Nappyville? Rumour World would like a bus connection to the various subways. Yeah, I need to think about buses. Maybe that's something we need to add. I haven't really done buses yet. I think we added a bus terminal and didn't bother doing any buses. <laughs> Jeff B101, thank you for the follow, much appreciated.
Oops, I was supposed to stop there and then uncouple. Oh well, they should both work. Drive to Fairfield Quarry Shunt. And you're going to get City Skylands later on in the sale. Yeah, I must admit, I'm looking forward to picking up the DLCs for it. And they just put their new Natural Disasters one out as well. Right, that swings us over into Quarry 4. Once the, me the wait is over. Have I got a PZB control panel? No, you just use a smacky button for the um, PZB acknowledge. And then the lights appear up on the um, BIP. Right, drive by Fairfield Quarry Loop to Quarry 4. What, what? That would be a bad time to run out of water. Crucible, yeah, for City Skylines has a thing called Natural Disa a Natural Disasters DLC, where you can rain havoc and mayhem upon your city. As if me being the mayor wasn't havoc and mayhem enough, frankly. Jeff B, hello from Las Vegas. Just getting into train sim and building your first gaming PC. Fantastic. Welcome to the community, Jeff. And um, kiss goodbye to all your spare time. That's all I'll say. Right, and now are we short scenario on um, horseshoe curve? <coughs> well done, driver! You complete times thirty-two. T went down the wrong way. How can T drop me? No. <coughs> right. Okay. So, Picardi on the rocks. See you later, DJSB.